Hi, I'm John Stage and this is Dude Food. Today we're going to give a barbecue treatment to an old culinary war horse, the meatloaf. We're going to saute a little bit of onions, peppers and garlic. And we're going to just cook these just cook the raw out of them. We're not looking to we're not looking to brown them. We're not looking to we're not even looking to translucent. We just want to get that raw thick. Now we're going to take this bread that's been soaking in milk and just kind of squeeze this out. Be careful not to squeeze it all over you, which I've done many times. Move this out of the way and just give this a good quick chop chop. Without the binding agents of milk bread and eggs you're never really going to get meatloaf you're going to get kind of like a big brick of dried out ground beef let me salt and pepper these guys up a little bit okay let's take the ground beef into the bowl a little bit of the sausage let's get our emulsification agent which is the breadcrumbs, a couple of eggs, a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of cumin, actually a good dose of cumin, some chili pepper, and a little bit of cayenne. Let's see where we're at here. Like I said before, we're really not looking to cook these too much. We're just trying to take the raw off it. Okay. All right, when I say culinary war horse, I mean it, man. Meatloaf has come and gone on men restaurant menus over the last 40 years. A little bit of barbecue. I can't call it a barbecue meatloaf without a little bit of barbecue. Don't want to forget that. So everybody's got their own version of it. You probably grew up on it or had it growing up. And what I want to do, before we do anything, is taste this meat. Very important because we're going to load this up and you don't want to come back an hour later and find out your meatloaf wasn't seasoned properly. You know, we make our homemade sausage at the restaurant. Woe is the guy who piped without tasting. You know what? I'm going to wash my hands real quick. All right, let me taste this. I'm going with that. Seasoned properly. Salted correctly, good balance, good show. All right, this is now the fun part. Put it right in this loaf pan. Let's get rid of this. And then we're just gonna give it the final treatment. And that's just a little bit of barbecue sauce over the top. And we're gonna bake this at 350 for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. You want this around 150, 155. I hate overcooking meatloaf. So think of a uh, meatloaf as a burger. Between 150, 160, you're approaching well, medium well, well. So why would you overcook your meatloaf? So 150, you're good, but if you're a little skittish, go a little longer, but it's not gonna be as moist. So I'm gonna put this in. Okay, with just a little bit more barbecue sauce. Just a light glazing on the top, just to give it a nice shine. Okay, this, this looks really good. I'm gonna cut it, see what this looks like. Oh man. Nothing wrong with that. Moist. Well seasoned, it's got the full barbecue treatment. That's the dish, barbecue meatloaf. I'm John Stage, this is Dude Food. Don't forget to subscribe. You don't have to be a vampire to drink blood, just ask the Vietnamese. This week, The Office gets undead with duck blood soup. Mac and cheese, meat shepherd's pie. If you're not hungry yet, you will be after you see this episode of Dude Food. Spike heads out with Lisa Schwartz and the Kings of West L.A. 
before whipping up a meal fit for a self-proclaimed king. Who needs coffee? From cleaning to storage, check out the cool things you can use a coffee filter to do. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.